hello friends in the present lecture we will try to derive the expression for lende g factor which is given by this so in the derivation as we know that the total angular momentum associated with an electron is equal to the sum of orbital angular momentum associated with the electron and spin angular momentum associated with the electron due to both the motions orbital motion and spin motion of the electron when it revolve around the nucleus we know that magnetic dipole movement is associated with it due to orbital motion the associated magnetic dipole movement is called orbital magnetic dipole movement whose value is given by this here mu b is called mohr magneton negative sign says that orbital angular momentum and orbital magnetic dipole movement both are in the opposite direction as gl is equal to 1 so it gives mu l is minus mu b upon h cut l similarly magnetic dipole movement associated with the electron due to its spinning motion is called spin magnetic dipole movement whose value is given by this again spin angular momentum is opposite to spin magnetic dipole movement clear from this negative sign as gs is equal to 2 so mu s comes out to be the total magnetic dipole movement is equal to sum of both kind of magnetic dipole movements which comes out to be so if we try to represent all these things diagrammatically then what we will found that say for a spinning electron angular momentum of the spinning electron is this way then its magnetic dipole movement being in the opposite direction will be given by this let this is the spin angular momenta associated with the electron then its magnetic dipole movement due to spin motion will be opposite to this
we will complete the diagram in a very small time so this is due to triangle law same order same order opposite order so this is j which is equal to l plus s by triangle law vector addition this is total mu same order same order opposite order so mu is equal to mu l plus mu s again by triangle law vector addition so when an electron revolves what happens when an electron revolves what happens then l and s they process about j l vector and s vector they process about j vector that is keeping the same when an electron revolves this pair it moves like this processional motion of l and s takes place about j so if l rotates mu l being opposite it it also rotates s rotates about j mu it will also rotate so the processional motion will be like this they they come outside they go inside revolution processional motion about j is there so the resultant of mu l and mu s is mu it also has to process about j vector let angle between mu and j vector is theta and mu j is component of mu vector in the direction of j vector then what we can write mu vector dot j it is mu j cos theta also from this because mu j is component of mu in the direction of j so mu j is mu cos theta so if we put here mu cos theta it is equal to mu dot j divided by j so mu j mu vector j vector divided by j so this is equation number 3 so from equation 2 and 3 what we will get mu j from 2 and 3 we will get value of mu mu b upon h cut l plus 2s vector dot j vector divided by magnitude of j minus mu b upon h cut it is l dot j vector plus 
एस डॉट जे वैक्टर डिवाइड बाय मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ जे एस जे वैक्टर इट इज इक्वल टू एल प्लस एस वैक्टर सो इट कैन बी री रिटर्न एस एल डॉट एल प्लस एस वैक्टर एल डॉट एल प्लस एस वैक्टर डिवाइड बाय जे सो इट विल बी एल डॉट एल एल स्केयर एल डॉट एस एस डॉट एल टू एस स्केयर एस डॉट एस एस हेयर इट इज डॉट सो इट इज एल स्केयर प्लस टू एस स्केयर प्लस थ्री एल डॉट एस डिवाइड बाय जे मेक दिस इक्वेशन नंबर फोर नाउ वी ट्राई टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एल डॉट एस एस जे इज इक्वल टू एल प्लस एस सो टेकिंग डॉट बोथ साइड्स सो इट इज जे स्केयर एल डॉट एल एल स्केयर एस डॉट एस एस स्केयर टू एल डॉट एस सो इट इम्प्लाइज एल डॉट एस इज इक्वल टू जे स्केयर एल स्केयर एस स्केयर डिवाइड बाय टू सो वी विल सब्सिट्यूट दिस वैल्यू हेयर देन कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ म्यू जे so mu j is equal to minus mu b by h cut l square 2 s square 3 j square l square s square divide by 2 divide by j so it will come out to be l square 2 s square 3 by 2 j square l square एस स्केयर डिवाइड बाय जे सो इट विल बी थ्री बाय टू जे स्केयर दिस टर्म कम्स फॉरवर्ड प्लस एस स्केयर बाय टू टू माइनस थ्री बाय टू माइनस एल स्केयर बाय टू डिवाइड बाय जे सो इट विल बी थ्री जे स्केयर एस स्केयर एल स्केयर डिवाइड बाय टू जे सो नाउ मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड बाय जे बी गेट माइनस म्यू बी बाय एच कट जे दिस टर्म बी मल्टीप्लाइड दिस बिकम्स अ स्केयर वैन बी डिवाइड दिस इज नंबर सिक्स
we can uh, do a little more simplification as well which is minus mu b upon h cut j it is 1 plus j square s square l square upon 2 j square and mark this as equation number 7 so now we will substitute the values in this equation so quantum mechanically we know that j is equal to j, j plus 1 h cut l is equal to h cut s is equal to h cut so substituting all these values from 7 we get mu j equal to minus mu b upon h cut j into j plus 1 h cut 1 plus j j plus 1 h cut s s plus 1 h cut l l plus 1 h cut divide by 2 j j plus 1 h cut h cut in all terms cancel out so mu j it comes out to be If we compare this equation to mu j it is equal to minus mu b g j into j plus 1 the basic equation for Lenz g factor after comparing the both mu j mu b this factor here so this is the value of g factor So this completes uh, our derivation for formula of Lundy G factor. So thanks for listening the lecture. So I request you all to kindly share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.